Yes, he's straight. That's the desert. What a snap. Now the option. Got it. Seven tie, ten minutes and one second to go in the second quarter. The snap, Hawkins gets a boot to it and looks like he pushed it right, and he did. So no good. Hawkins' his first field goal attempt of the season. Twenty. We are at the twenty. First and ten. Gaddy is back in there. Benedict as his only backfield mate. Two receivers left. One split right in a 7-7 game against their arch rivals from Sunrise Mountain. Gaddy now takes the snap. Fakes it up inside. He'll run it himself to the outside. Gaddy tiptoes along the sideline. He's finally brought down to about the 40. That's going to be a first down for the Lions. Well, he was shaking up. It wasn't, it wasn't much. Yeah, his vision is just great. He's so he had to shake the clock on the move for one of the rare times here in the first half of play as we've seen the ball in the air and out of bounds quite a bit, but that run up the middle got him four yards. Second and six from the 44. Gaddy back in after being shaken up, but he looks none the worse for wear. So he had a nice run right before that. He'll take the direct snap and pull his way across the line of scrimmage, still on his feet, gets to the outside. Gaddy cuts it back inside. Can he go the distance? Oh, he's tripped up. Gets a first down and a big yardage. Did not reach the end zone, but he's definitely back in the way. Gowdy just looks great. Breaking tackles, ankles, running them over, and then it looked like the only guy that took him down was his own. I think he just wanted to make sure they had the right play. Andre Gaddy, who has one touchdown run already tonight. With 6.02 to go here left in the first half. In a 7-7 game against their early rivals. Fourth and goal, two yard line. Gaddy in the shotgun. Two yards away from the score, he'll put his team ahead. Gaddy takes the snap, rolls to his left. He has the option to run or throw. He'll throw back across the middle, balls up in the air. And it's caught with short. No, he's in. Touchdown. Lions. The ball batted up in the air, and it looks as if Austin has to made the man to come up with it. Point lead at the half. Brandon Croteau is the long snapper. The snap, the hold, the kick is up, and the kick is good. And that ends the first half of play. The 22-yard field goal by Connor McRae gives Liberty a 17-7 lead at the end of an exciting first half. Yeah, it really was a well-played first half. After that first quarter where the teams exchanged turnovers, the second quarter was a much more disciplined quarter. They really weren't coughing the button to tack onto it. Second down and 20. Gaddy rolling. He's right-handed. He throws and finds his man, Noriega. Noriega in a foot race. He's going to be taken down at the 40-yard line of Sunrise Mountain, but that's a first down. Gaddy making it happen as he sprinted out to his left and had to turn his shoulders all the way before he found Noriega for the big game of the pool. Send three wide receivers, two wide receivers right and a tight end. And Jordan Key split wide to the left. Gaddy back to throw. Flips it inside. This part. And of course, the answer is Cody Galena. And Galena is down to the 25 yard line. First down. Lions on the road. Great design. Slight line. Quick hitter. Set up the block real well. And allowed for them to fight. From the 25 yard line. Gaddy in the shotgun. With his tight end left. Gaddy looks. Looks across the middle, it's caught! And into the end zone is Paul Pennington for the touchdown, Liberty! A 
again, they come through in a ski situation on third and nine from the 25. Daddy with his second touchdown throw of the game. Shepard has Castro in the backfield with him. He's got a pair of receivers to each side. Shepard takes the snap. Now he'll roll to his left. He will complete a pass out across midfield and out of bounds at the 35 yard line. Here. Both teams have operated out of the shotgun, but Shepard will go under center here on first and goal from the three yard line. Sunrise Mountain trying to get back in this game. The give inside. Is Castro in? Is he close? He's very close, but he's not in. Can't be more than about a yard away now. It'll bring up second down, but that clock is definitely not the Mustangs' friend at the moment. 6.25, clock running. They are down 24-7 to to Liberty. Shepard now will see. He again goes under center. Two tight ends. And a man in motion. Shepard gives it upside. Tony Trufgruben is in for the touchdown. A one-yard run by Tony Trufgruben. Gets Sunrise Mountain within 11, potentially 10. First half, and this one would be a 40-yard attempt or 42-yard attempt now as they put the block down. And no hesitation from James Carter. Ryan Hawkins is being coached by Alex Zendejas, one of the kicking Zendejas brothers. Hawkins' kick is in the air, sailing towards the uprights, and it is good! 42-yard field goal makes it 24-20. to 20. Don't go away, folks. We've got a heck of a game. Liberty definitely expecting it. And they do. That's going to be close as that ball is in a scrum. They're going to try to sort it out and see he was just kind of dragging it along with him. The Mustangs, no indication yet. Somebody's at the bottom of that pile, and Sunrise Mountain rejoices. They've got it. And it's Hawkins who recovered the ball himself. Wow. He just kind of dragged that along with him was, like a drag bunt. I was going to say, I've never seen it last night. Down seven now, Sunrise Mountain. 17 yards away from tying this game up. 17 yards and an extra point. Two receivers left, two right. One in the backfield, low snap. Shepard rolling right, looking into the end zone. The throw, the catch, the touchdown. What a throw. To make it a one-point game, the Mustangs come storming back. 16 unanswered now, and they're an extra point away from tying it. John Drago, 4-7. This would give them the lead if they're successful. Shepard rolling under pressure. Sacked! Liberty stops them with a minute three left. What? A rush right there. Tanner Nip busted through the line and just like that expected it to be this close. Gaddy takes the knee and the Liberty Lions for the second straight year have beaten Sunrise Mountain but this one was a nail biter. The final score Liberty 24, Sunrise Mountain 23. It's a shame that someone had to lose this game. But what a contest on the opening night of a high school football.